name is Josh Bushel, and uh, I'm doing this video in an effort to hopefully help you that has gotten a job offer or is looking to get hired to the fire department. But in particular, this is for those of you that have gotten a job offer and you're looking for a fitness standard to help you be prepared for the academy for day one. So first off, uh, I'm an NASM certified personal trainer. I'm also a precision nutrition level one coach and uh, I've been a health and fitness instructor for my particular department for probably maybe the last three years or better. Um, I'm not gonna name my department because this video is not associated with them. They may, it may actually have different viewpoints than me, but I think it's gonna be a very good standard that will help you be successful in the academy. And the first thing I wanna address is the fact that once you show up to your academy, there is a lot of stressors. Uh, you're gonna be learning new skills. Uh, you're gonna be expected to be tested over those new skills. You are going to have homework. You're gonna to need to study. You're gonna to need to pass written tests. Um, you're gonna to have to integrate into a team of people that you're just gonna have met and you're gonna to need to be able to get along and work together as a team and there's just a lot of stress that goes along with that because you want to put your best foot forward all the time so the first thing I would say is don't show up to your Academy saying oh man I can't wait to get in shape because that is a horrible attitude to have you need to be in shape the day that you show up to your Academy there's a lot of people out there that want this career and are willing to show up in shape, but maybe didn't do as well on the interviews that they could have done. So have pride in the position that you've recently taken and show up in good physical condition. Um, the, the thing that I would always point out is the fact that if you at one point or another, especially once you've gotten hired or throughout your career, if you feel that you can't rescue or make a good solid effort at helping your brothers and sisters who are in full turnout gear and you also in full turnout gear with equipment weighing 70 pounds or better, more than what you weigh without any gear on, um, then you should consider either getting in better shape or possibly another career because you could be the person that, that helps another guy go home to his family. So you have a responsibility to yourself, you have a responsibility to your partners, and you also have a responsibility to the community to show up to your academy in good physical condition. So let's go ahead and get with the standards. Um, these are the standards, again, they're my opinion. Some of them are gonna be something that you'll be tested on in the academy. And the first one I'm gonna talk about is your cardiovascular fitness. You need to have a good baseline cardiovascular fitness. You need to be concerned about your heart. You need to be concerned about your well-being. So make sure that you're coming into the academy, I would say with a VO2 max of at least 45. And what that equates to is running a mile and a half in right around 11 minutes and 30 seconds. So if you're in the 11 minutes and 30 seconds to 12 minute range, you'll probably be showing up to your academy in sufficient cardiovascular fitness. Um, you will be tested most likely at the beginning and the end of the academy for VO2 max numbers. Uh, muscular endurance is another thing you'll be tested on. Uh, planks, I think you should be able to do a plank of at least two minutes and that two minute mark doesn't mean you're collapsing at two minutes. It means you're comfortable with at least a two minute plank. If you can do more, that's great. But two minutes should be what you at least show up being able to do two minutes comfortably. Push-ups. Um, most academies or a lot of academies will do uh, 80, bit, uh, 80 beat per, net, per minute metronome count, which you can YouTube, 80 beat per minute metronome on YouTube. And I think you should be able to do at least 40 push-ups on day one of your academy to an 80 beat metronome. Each beat is an up, down, up, down. Uh, Pull-ups, 10 strict pull-ups. You should be able to do a pull-up, up, down, no kipping, pauses at the top and the bottom. I think you should be able to do at least 10 of those. Um, these are things that you'll, most likely there's a good chance you'll be tested on those muscular endurance abilities to make sure that you're kind of at a good standard. And what we're testing for is to make sure that you're approving through the academy. Um, Strength. I think strength is something that's very important. You probably will not be tested on in your academy, but I think that you should be able to show up being able to deadlift uh, 1.75 to two times your body weight. Um, a deadlift is a great exercise that equates to what we do as a living, uh, picking people up off the ground, being able to pick up again your brother and sister and, and be able to drag them, uh, making progress towards an exit point 
if they are in danger and you need to help them. It is a really good exercise to be able to judge whether you're going to be good at this job or not. Um, another thing it does is I believe a deadlift equates to good, it, it equates to longevity in your career. If you can do a good deadlift with good form, you're strong for your career, it's going to mean your back is strong, your legs are strong, it's a good exercise for that. But with strength, you need to get a coach. Don't just hire a personal trainer at a gym and don't just decide to do deadlifts on your own. Get somebody that knows how to watch you, knows how to teach you, and to teach you correctly. And typically, your just general certified personal trainer isn't going to have that background. So you need to do a little bit more research. Maybe go to a powerlifting gym or a competitive weightlifting gym where there's qualified coaches to get you to your goal without getting you hurt. Another strength skill I think you should have is a good farmer's walk. Um, maybe a, a farmer's walk of about your body weight. So half your body weight in each hand and be able to walk a good 20 feet comfortably with good form. You should be able to do that prior to your academy. Again, strength you won't be tested on, most likely. You might be, you could probably find out by asking the particular department that you're gonna work for, but I don't know that you'll be tested on. Usually it's more towards muscular endurance and VO2 max, and also flexibility. So it, the flexibility, I'm not gonna give you a real good guideline on that. I'm just gonna say that you need to improve it. You need to improve your hamstring flexibility, and you need to have some sort of resiliency in your muscles. So you need to have a good, flexible body. Um, Doing sit and reaches is what you'll most likely be tested on in an academy. So doing sit and reaches is a good way to kind of improve that right now. But I would say you need to work on over body, overall body flexibility. So taking a yoga class would be a great way to do that. Maybe doing that once or twice a week on top of your fitness plan. Um, I think it's important that you have a good understanding and are comfortable using a foam roller. And I also think it's important that you have good mobility through your shoulders and through your hips, which is gonna, again, help you have resiliency against injury throughout your shoulders and your hips. So make sure you have a couple of these things. If you have questions, make sure you ask, make a comment at the bottom of the video. I'll do my best to get to it. Um, if you work for another department and you think, uh, you think there should be something else added in there, go ahead, feel free to add that down in there. I may not have hit every single standard, that's for sure. But I think this is a good baseline. And I think it's a good way to show up. And I cannot urge enough that you, you please take the time to show up in good physical condition. Don't come to your academy with the expectation that we're gonna get you in shape because our expectation is that you show up in good physical condition. And by doing that, you're gonna alleviate one stressor that weighs a lot of people down because they come in and they fear the workout. And you shouldn't fear a workout. You should be excited about your morning workouts. And then the rest of the day is the stuff that you should be stressed out about and learning your new skills, learning your new profession that is gonna involve saving people's lives. So have a great day. Again, if you have questions, feed them down below and uh, I appreciate your time.